What's up, my pilots? Angry Fonchi here, back playing Minecraft. I am returning now to my hardcore world. This is where I've brought you guys today to show you a few improvements I've made, as well as a few discoveries. So some commenters told me that there was actually a spawner within a hundred blocks of my tower here, so that was kind of cool. It's actually over that away, uh, in sort of the magenta direction. And then over here in the cyan, or the blue direction, you have another spawner. So, what I mean by those directions is, is exactly this. You can see down on my wall there, maybe it'd be easier to see from a lower level here. Down on the wall, actually it's harder to see from up here, look at that. Wow. Let's go down to another, the lower balcony. So I have the 16 colors of wool put on the cardinal directions. So I've got, basically, dividing the whole circle of my wall into 16 pieces by putting those 16 colors of wool there. So it helps me remember what direction things are in. Because I don't like to use F3 a whole lot to remember which way I'm supposed to be going. North, south, east, west, or whatever. So now if I just remember, okay, well that was off towards the purple one or whatever, I can more easily find it again. Yeah, so over in the direction of magenta, uh, there's actually a, s a spawner in the ground that's just right easy to find. And then over there I found a spider spawner, which is actually about 50 blocks further on. Because that's the start of a diagonal staircase that goes down and away in this direction. So I'm going to go off towards the uh, more easily accessible of the two, just to advertise its location if you're interested in playing this same world. Again, this is just the Seed Poncho, and it's a world a map with uh, large biomes. I don't, I don't think the biome change will actually affect the location of spawners and things, so just go into choose a seed and use the word Poncho in, in version... 1.5.1, uh, and you will get this world. Not too complicated, eh? I think this is actually a really good world seed. I think I might use this same world seed for hardcore. I'm not, or not for hardcore. This is hardcore. For uh, feed the beast, but I'm not sure yet because I don't know. Would you guys want me to play in a world that I've already gotten to know, so that f just feed the beast is what I'm thinking about, or would it be weird to? play in a world that I was already familiar with, because I, this is my second hardcore world I've done here, although the first one only lasted about 10 minutes. Where is it at? Ow! You're an asshole. Skeletons. I don't know what they did with the skeletons in 1.5, but they seem to be much more dangerous now, because they, they hit me all the time. They used to not be able to hit the broadside of a barn. Now they're all over it. It's crazy. Did you just jump over my head? Oh, I thought he landed right in the, in the dungeon right down there. I'm like, that's hilarious. See if I can knock him off. <laughs> oh man, fall in the pit. Come on. I want you to fall in the pit. There you go. Your corpse fell in the pit. Sounds like one of his buddies was, was firing at me too. Anyway, also like I got too preoccupied with that. Yep, so over here, uh, here's the coordinates for you if you want to look at those. Uh, there's a zombie spawner. That's pretty cool. Not super, not super exciting though. I'm not really that enthused it was it is neat because i didn't have to dig this out this is actually open to the to the sky so when you walk around over here you'll just find it so that's it's neat to find spawners that are that close to the surface usually they're in a really inconvenient location like near bedrock it's just annoying that's a zombie spawner and then in the opposite direction of the tower uh, which doesn't have a name i don't think i'm going to name it i could call it the four points tower or the or the tower of four walls you guys are all saying like pilot pilots tower and stuff, but we already had the perch. I'm not gonna name everything after the after the pilots, you know? We had the pilots perch. You know, so this is my tower. You guys don't get to see a whole lot of it except for a couple of previews. You weren't or not previews, but sort of uh <laughs> I don't know what you would call these, just little advertisements of what I've built. I don't know. Anyway, so Silo doesn't have a name, it doesn't really need one though, so no big deal. So I do like my four walls. That's a neat concept that I think I'm going to continue doing in my future worlds. It's having multiple layers of walls and starting out with little ones and going up to big ones. Anyway, so some of the additions that I've made is that I put uh, glass all the way around the layers here. And like I already said, I put the wool up there to help me track what direction I'm supposed to be going in. So the glass all the way around is just nice because it's easy to, easier to look out and see. I mean, that's pretty obvious, right? So I've also got... I planted... I used the bone meal actually. I don't know if you know about this trick. Probably fairly common by now. You can use bone meal to grow uh, grass and flowers and stuff. That's cool. So now I have like a meadow in here for all my animals to frolic in. 
It's great. Just just lovely. Farms are still the same. But I did add some windows to my storage room, which is now finished up here. I don't know if you guys actually saw the finished product uh, before, but I have 16 chests in here, 16 double chests, I guess, as well as 8 furni and 4 crafting tables. And the chests all have signs over them, let me know what's in them. And I have 16 glass windows. Each, and you can see, you can see the different colored wool blocks outside of the windows. So they all, they all correspond fairly, fairly well like that. When you stand in the center, you can kind of look out and see the wool in a lot of different directions out there. Which I like. I think it gives it sort of the symmetry that I'm, it's really pleasing to me. And then you got the upper balcony here. Actually, I guess, I guess that's the middle balcony. The top one will be up here. Anyway, and then the bedroom also has a layer of windows all the way around because it's just nice to be able to look out and, you know, get a 360 view on what's going on. This is a very safe bedroom up here. I, I really like the way this has turned out. Just having the bed, just the bed up here, it's sort of cozy. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to put paintings or anything up there. I think I'm just going to leave it with just the bed and the windows because it's sort of... Hello, Mr. Sheep. You're catching through a wall. That's weird. Yeah, so I've got a nice little meadow thing going here and my... I think my tower looks pretty good with the glass rings around it and stuff. Ah, <sighs> yep. So that's what I've been doing in this hardcore world. I haven't done a whole lot, and I can say nothing has changed underneath in the farms here, except that I'm continuing to make... getting I'm getting more and more food all the time. So I'm going to be full up on melons before too long here. I think I want to... Uh, in this hardcore series, my, my, wor or my goal is to get to level 100. As so as you can see right now, I'm at 47. So I'm about halfway there. But not really, the because the uh, levels later require more experience than the levels early on uh, to go from one to the next. So I'm actually probably like a third of the way or less. So, still. I'm going to try, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and get to level 100 without building a grinder. And that'll be when I've played for long enough. I'm not going to do any enchanting, that's part of it. Why did I pick up an egg? I'm always picking up eggs. Just walking around. What are the odds I get a chicken? Nope, no chicken. <laughs> anyway. So that's, that's how I'm going to gauge when I've basically won, is if I can survive to be 100. That's my whole goal. Uh, but right now I'm just, you know, continuing to build my strategies, and, or my structures and things here, and I have been doing some caving, so I have a, a lot of cobble, and uh, a little bit of loot that I've been picking up, working on getting lots of mob drops. I keep finding, I keep finding feathers and, and, and chickens just dead out there. I think the chickens are killing each other. It's horrible. I don't know, man. They, apparently they do that in real life. I don't know if they do it in Minecraft, but it would be kind of scary. There's, there's cannibal chickens in real life. You should look that up. It's a real thing. Yes, yeah, so I got the silly lapis. I got some diamonds! Not a whole lot, but, you know, I'm saving them up. I don't know, I don't know what the hell I'm going to use them for. Saving up in a hardcore world just seems silly because, I mean, I already invested in iron armor and tools just because I wanted to be functional and make things go quick more quickly, but, uh, saving up anything just seems silly when you have only one life to live. You should spend it now! Carpe diem! YOLO! Etc. <laughs> Whatever, you know. I don't know if that really applies to Minecraft or not. Freaking eggs. Anyway, I think that's all I really wanted to show you guys. That's all the changes I've made. It's just, it's the world feels so much nicer now with the grass and and all the uh, all the windows and like the wool going around up here, just you know, it's it's more it's, it's more enjoyable to me. I, I think it's more aesthetically pleasing, and that's really what makes the world nice. So I recommend this seed, by the way, this poncho seed, because you you appear in a snow biome, which I love, because in a snow biome, you don't have to deal with the annoying ass rain. When it snows, it's nice. It's kind of lovely, uh, but. When it rains in Minecraft, it just sucks. It's just loud and obnoxious, and it gets really dark, and all those mobs start spawning, and it's ugh. And this is also a fairly good seed, like I say, because you're in the snow biome, which is nice, and because you have lots of nearby ravines. So if you can see, there's a ravine in the landscape. Actually, yeah. There's a ravine cut into the landscape right there. I, maybe that's a ravine. I don't know. That might be part of a cave. I think, that's, I think that's actually a cave entrance over there. And then here you have a ravine, which you can see I have, a, I have one block of cobblestone there. I think that's probably keeping a water block in place. So you have a ravine here. And then further around, there's actually another ravine, I believe, that goes into the... cuts into one of these... Uh, besides some, one of these areas over here. And here it is. It's over here. This ravine. It's actually separate from the other one. It, cuts underneath and goes underneath the ground over there. 
That's cool. It's a good at start for your exploration. And then there's a cave entrance right over here. Nice little f sort of flat area over there with uh, this weird drop-off right there that looks just so strange in the rest of the landscape. That'd be an interesting area to build something on. And then over here, <laughs> another ravine cut into the ground. So there's tons of places to start exploring and digging in and looking for things. And again, you can find a spider spawner if you dig over there and go down diagonally uh, in that direction. You'll get uh, down to a spider spawner way down near the bedrock at like level 15 or something like that. And then I like this area over here as well because it's sort of this neat little cliffside area where I, I could just imagine like an adobe village being built in right here. And then if you go a little farther over that way, there's some really cool mountain tops. Like, there's this mountain with the one really big tree on near the top. That's just so cool. I mean, if, if I hadn't already built a super awesome tower, that I, really, I, I mean, I like it a lot, obviously. Over here, I would build a little... Actually, you know, I still could. I could make a vacation house. I could build a little cottage on the top of that mountain and make it just slightly shorter than that tree, so the tree's still the tallest part. I think that'd be really cool. There's also another mountain, which I think might be just out of render range. Yeah, I think it might be that mountain right there that's actually getting cut off. That has a like a perfectly square top over there, which is really funny looking. Uh, so there's cool things, cool places to build over there if you want to go build in the mountains. Or if you're looking for emeralds, that might be an extreme hills biome. I think it is. Either way, so this I think this is a great seed. And then over there, there's some more extreme hills that you can cut into. That, that, that's actually a cave entrance right there, I think. Could just be a weird lighting bug. I wish they would fix the lighting bugs. How long? How, I mean, they've been in since they've been in here since alpha. They're just like different lighting bugs every version. I don't know. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show you guys and just advertise this seed again. It's just Poncho. So you select the seed, choose Poncho, you'll get this world. And uh, I haven't seen any video responses yet. So if you guys are playing on this world, you know, leave me, make a video and send me a send me a response. I'll I'll approve it. I want to see what you guys are uh, what you guys are making of this. It's an interesting thing. My cha my challenge I, I issued last time was to uh, do a hardcore world and, you know, or take some screenshots or something and send me the evidence and make something as cool as what I did or, or, do, 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 or do it differently, you know? Start in one of the mountains, start in a ravine, do whatever. But uh, I think it's interesting to have different people play on the same seed and see what they create. Uh, see what kind of different things they make with the same canvas, as it were. I like the idea of that. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling now. Uh, if you have any ideas for things I could build or, or do in this hardcore world and on my way to level 100, which I may <laughs> probably will not make it to, but, you know, I'll keep making these fun little updates as as interesting things are changing in my world here. Now, if, you any, if you have any ideas of things I can do, let me know. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.